just thinking about like the whole process of trying to change this educational structure that is out there that's so, you know, I, I started in the public system out of the 30 years of my teaching. I was in the public system for five and so it was a long time ago. Mm. But, um, so I feel a little bit out of the loop, but just it feels mm. like, wow, is, can we, is it going to change? You know, I don't know. That, that's a lot of what my work has been is, is I've been kind of floating between worlds going to mm. you know main, more mainstream conferences just to try and find out what what is going on and there's actually some really great stuff in a variety of places that's good to hear that they talk a good game a lot of times like i've been to you know state boards the the conferences for the state boards of education and they have some good things that they're trying to accomplish but then they're you know there's also though these arbitrary restrictions that legislators impose upon them uh -huh. in some states like state boards of education have almost no power because the legislator has put such onerous restrictions on them that, you know, you think the State Board of Education must be able to do all kinds of cool stuff. But then if the legislator strips them of the power, then no, they can't. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.